This is the day we've been waiting for. This is the day that we've worked for. Studied for. Practiced for. Prayed for. Fought for. A thousand moments have led to this day. Exams, projects. Service, late nights and early mornings. Concerts. Games. Coffee. Lots of coffee. And a thousand more will come from it. Careers. Friendship. Adventures across the globe. Triumphs. Challenges. The chance to make a difference. This is the day we start something new. Empowered by the things we found here. Community, faith, inspiration, pride. A world-class education. To create an impact. In Chicago and beyond. In ways big and small that make the world a better place. This is the day we dreamed of. This is the day our day. Today. This is the day we've envisioned. It's here. Now let's go forth and set the world on fire. Honored guests and celebrants, your attention please. The ceremony is about to begin. The doctorate is the highest degree awarded by Loyola University Chicago. The relationship between the doctoral candidate and their director is of central importance to the candidate's progress and successful development as an independent scholar. As a way of recognizing this unique relationship, the faculty director is processing in with the doctoral candidate. Please welcome the candidates for Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Bioethics, and Doctor of Healthcare Mission Leadership degrees.
Please draw your attention to the processional of faculty, administration, and President's Party members. Please welcome Margaret Callahan, Provost and Chief Academic Officer for Loyola University Chicago, who serves as your Master of Ceremonies for today's program. President Reed, Dean Barman, Dean Jones, members of the Board of Trustees, officers of the university, deans and vice presidents, guests of honor, members of the faculty, candidates for graduation and their family and friends. Welcome to the 153rd annual commencement of Loyola University Chicago for the Graduate School and the Institute of Pastoral Studies. As we begin, I'd like to draw your attention to the university's land acknowledgement statement on the inside front cover of your program, honoring the heritage of the grounds we walk. Now, will everyone who is able please stand as the Loyola Wind Ensemble plays the national anthem. We ask that you remain standing until after Dr. William Schmidt, Professor of Pastoral Studies, gives the invocation.
Let us pray. O Holy One, we affirm your presence in our midst. We, your children, have been blessed by the graces you have bestowed upon us. Creator God, giver of life, you have held and nourished us by your invisible hand. In joy and sorrow, you have sustained us. You have brought us to the thresholds of growth, accomplishment, and fulfillment. Strengthen us, O God, to embrace the responsibilities that flow from such graces. We give thanks for the blessings that Loyola University Chicago has helped develop and sustained in us. O Sacred Spirit, guide us now as we seek your higher calling for all the paths that beckon us. May we humbly seek your truth in all things. We give thanks to God for the promise of your abiding love. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Schmidt. Will everyone please be seated? It is now my pleasure to present Dr. Emily Barman, Dean of the Graduate School and Vice Provost for Graduate Education. Thank you, Provost Callahan. Honored graduates and guests, it is with pleasure that I join Provost Callahan in welcoming you to Loyola University Chicago's 153rd Annual Commencement Exercises. We are here today to recognize the tremendous accomplishments of the graduates here with us today. This commencement ceremony marks the culmination of several years of scholarly effort and dedication on their, on their part. And to the graduate students, let me commend you for how hard you have strived and how much you have accomplished here at Loyola during your time at this university. Now, with your graduate degree soon to be in hand, you are rightfully poised to go forth and to use the knowledge, skills, and experiences you have gained here at Loyola University Chicago to pursue your dreams, accomplish great things, and leave the world a better place than you found it. We are so proud that you are joining the ranks of our alumni, and we look forward to what you will achieve next. Now, let us get on with the happy business of the day, your graduation. Congratulations. I would, I would like to now present Dr. Peter Jones, Interim Dean of the Institute of Pastoral Studies, who will offer a greeting. Family members and friends, and most importantly, members of the class of 2023, it is my honor and a true joy to welcome you to the 153rd Annual Commencement Exercises of Loyola University Chicago. It is my pleasure and my honor to celebrate with you on this wonderful occasion. In the Catholic tradition, we find an exhortation to be attentive, to read the signs of the times, and to respond compassionately and passionately. Echoed in the Jesuit desire to recognize the presence of God in all things, you are encouraged at Loyola to read the signs of the times with an eye on accompanying others through these times. In fact, you all have chosen more. You've chosen and succeeded in graduate school. Now you're about to commence, to begin the next stage. Thank God. Thank you. Thank you to your parents, your families, your friends, all who have encouraged and supported you. Congratulations all for this momentous achievement. Thank you, Dean Barman and Dean Jones. With pleasure, I now present Janice Nolan, candidate for the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Cultural and Educational Policy Studies, who will offer some remarks on behalf of the students of the Graduate School. In 1973, DJ Kool Herc and his sister Cindy threw a back-to-school party that changed the world. Armed with the kind of confidence that only a little sister can provide, 
Herc mixed the sounds of the past and the present to invent the sound of the future. What started as a figment of a young black man's imagination has evolved into one of the most consequential art forms of our lifetime. This year, hip hop turns 50. For the last 50 years, hip hop has been used as a conduit for joy, self-expression, and social commentary. In honor of hip hop's 50th birthday, I present the class of 2023 with a poem entitled Commencement. You deserve a round of applause, dare I say a standing ovation, because you got an advanced degree doing Earth's version of Final Destination. And as you emerge from the wreckage, ready to make a difference, have you taken the time to figure out if you're actually any different? Like, when was the last time you held a door open for a stranger or spoke to someone you disagreed with with something other than anger? Consumed news that didn't already confirm your point of view or gave your time to help others without doing it for the views or the likes or at night? Do you help the boy who's been shot or do you fear for your life? Do you suck on your teeth or does your chest get tight when I tell you that racism, sexism, and homophobia are not just issues on the right? Now, before I go too far left, there's some feathers I needed to ruffle because I'm hearing a lot of talking, but I can't find the good trouble. We've got some decisions to make and the rhetoric is getting wild. We are fighting over bathrooms, chicken sandwiches, and who can wear a wig in front of a child? And I would find it all funny if it wasn't actually sad that all this country has to offer is reasons to be mad or depressed, or scared, or uneasy, or up in arms. We fought over COVID restrictions because y'all wanted to go to bars. And while I digress, Earth's a mess, is giving real housewives of inequality, and while it's always kind of been a mess, we know this is not how it's gotta be. Anything's possible, not just probable. I'm talking statistically beyond mystery that we could make this version of life a bit of far off history. We can actually make America everything that she claims to be and we could learn from our mistakes, erasure sold separately, or not at all, because running to our corners has done nothing but tear us apart. And while I do not have all the answers, I think I know a few good places to start. Like learn to mind your business, be humble and always be fair. And when you see a cute stranger, tell them you like their hair. And if someone compliments you, say thank you and give them one in return. And if you really about that life, give back some of that privilege you did not earn. Stop calling, hold folks accountable but with compassion. Stop calling adult temper tantrums passion. And if you're having a hard time understanding someone's lived experience, baby, just ask them. And then listen, be a lifelong learner, not just here in this ivory tower, but do good and be good every minute of every hour. Because we're gonna replace the folks in power sooner than they would care to admit. And when we get into the seats that they've been sitting in, baby, <laughs> some things we're gonna have to fix. But no matter your field, your passions, or your future endeavors, the only way there's a future for any of us is if we turn into better humans together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Janice. I would now like to introduce Jalen Nicole Taylor, candidate for the dual degree Master of Arts in Pastoral Counseling and Certificate in Pastoral Leadership, who will offer some remarks on behalf of the graduates in the Institute of Pastoral Studies. Thank you, Provost Callahan. Welcome, family, friends, and Loyola University of Chicago's graduating class of 2023. I am so honored to be standing in front of you and alongside my fellow graduates. Faith, a knowing and confidence that our work is not in vain. Faith, that through every prayer and uplifting word we would see it through. Faith, that grace would extend as we mended ourselves together anew. When I think about how we got here, there must have been something so unsettling about our lives when we all felt this internal calling, a faint whisper, a gentle push that our purpose extended beyond the heights we had already climbed, making us destined for more. Some of us eager to go, some of us who swore we would never again, all made the grand decision by faith 
to reach within and decide with pride in our eyes that we would begin anew and do something new in graduate school. To be here in this momentous moment took no small feat, as this journey demanded us to surrender to the will of our higher calling through higher education. I reflect on what Jesus states in John 20, 29. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. For some of us, that belief led us across the ocean, the country, even the street, each of us not fully understanding what was ahead of us, but eager to soak up the rich knowledge and wisdom of those who crossed our paths. But when our goal to arrive at this very moment we are standing in with joy and cheer wasn't so near, we had to keep faith. So as we each depart on our newly developed smarts to the streets, I ask each of you to keep that faith that got you here near as the vision becomes just a little unclear on what truly is next. Keep the faith, knowing that every day you will strive to give your best for the faithful always pass and exceed beyond any goal or test. Congratulations to the Loyola University of Chicago graduating class of 2023. Thank you, Jalen. The honorary degree will now be presented. On behalf of the Graduate School and the Institute of Pastoral Studies, Dean Jones will introduce Dr. Amulchi Kuda and read the citation. President Mark Reed will confer the degree. Dean Jones. Dr. Kuda, welcome and congratulations. I'm thrilled you're here with us and that today you will join these graduates in becoming an alumna of Loyola University Chicago. You responded with humility and eagerness when two years ago you accepted the invitation to join us as an instructor. You later responded with grace and excitement to our invitation to speak at a university event at the beginning of the Catholic Church's ongoing global synod. You trusted us, but even more, you challenged us a lot. You accompanied our team as we tried to meet your challenge, and eventually, when you thought we were ready, you leaked the information about our plans. Indeed, you told Pope Francis. As I imagine it, he read your note, he smiled, and then he agreed. Then he showed up, and he continues to show up in a big way. He clearly trusts you. Dr. Emil Sekuda, in fact, is many things. Beyond what's described in the biography you'll find in the commencement program, she is a wife and mother, a devoted servant of her faith, a seamstress and fashion designer, a theologian and scholar. Her mother taught her how to sew, and she went on to operate a successful business as a designer for many years. Later, she would become the first laywoman to complete a doctorate at the Pontifical University in Argentina, although she actually has two doctorates. Dr. Kuda has been a university professor in Argentina and a visiting professor at several universities in the United States. As secretary of the Pontifical Commission for Latin America, Dr. Kuda stands with the highest ranking women in the Vatican today. There are currently two others, also secretaries of their respective areas, and none hold a higher rank. It takes a special kind of person, not just to arrive and survive, but to thrive and contribute in that context. Dr. Kuda is a theologian who focuses on social problems. No disconnected researcher, she engages the real conditions of people's lives, honing in on such challenges as unemployment, labor unions, and popular movements. She emphasizes the role of lay people and the need for changes that will catalyze and enable their agency. Her frenetic pace and work ethic are legendary. Having been called to Rome and now elevated to the level of secretary, she leverages all of her wisdom, experience, and energy for the sake of Pope Francis, his vision, his initiative, and for the well-being of the holy, faithful people of God. I hope I have conveyed the reality that Dr. Emil Sekuda is already a doctor of humanity. We are pleased to recognize this officially today. Dr. Kuda, President Reed, I invite you to the podium. President Reed, in recognition of her distinguished career in service, commitment to social justice, and service on behalf of the poor and marginalized, I can recommend the degree Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa, be conferred upon Dr. Emilce Kuda. 
And upon the recommendation of the deans of the graduate school and the Institute of Pastoral Studies and their faculty, and by the authority granted to Loyola University Chicago by the state of Illinois and delegated to me by the Board of Trustees of this university, I am so pleased to confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended, Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa. Congratulations. President Reed, Provost Callahan, Dean Jones, and Dean Barman, faculty, staff, and administrator, family, especially my husband Patrick and my two sons, William and Thomas, friends, and of course, my fellow members of the Loyola University Chicago graduating class 2023. It is wonderful to be here and celebrate with you today this graduation ceremony. I am grateful to all of you that on this 10th anniversary year of the pontificate of Pope Francis, a Latin American and Argentine Jesuit Pope, his collaborator and compatriot has the decision of receiving a doctorate in human letters from a prestigious North American Jesuit university commit to the social teaching of the church. Thank you so much. Fellow graduates, congratulations on this achievement. Do we understand that our life will change tremendously from this moment forward? Are we ready for that? Let's us not be afraid. We are university's apostles. Let us go onward. Allow me to explain what I mean by university's apostles. Interestingly, the words universitas and apostles mean almost the same thing. Universitas means to go forward together. Apostles mean to be sent, to be forward without fear. But how to unite this and move forward together without fear? Pope Francis answered that question when he told us, acting with the head, with heart, and with the hands. This is an Ignatian way to saying contemplation in action. The Holy Father told us these words in his meeting with the students from all the Americas organized by this same university in February 24, 2022. Going forward with a fear requires finding our place and avoiding concretely the achievement of this graduation. For this reason, I invite you to ask five questions that will allow us to see, to discern, and to act as university's apostles. First, what is happening at this graduation ceremony? It is a communal act of recognition that gives life. 
We have completed our degree, and now Loyola University Chicago is publicly recognizing our achievement. Without this act of public acknowledgement, none of us would really be a master or doctor because our actions would not have institutional or community support, and we would remain paralyzed by fear. For this reason, the university makes the apostolate possible from a public act of recognition. This is finally what makes us, you and me today, professionals graduate, university apostles. Identity finally emerged from the recognition of our dignity and our capabilities. Second question, who is the subject of this graduation of ceremony? The subject is a person and a community. These graduations respond to a vocation. That is to say, it is a response to a personal call that challenge us. Challenge to give, to contribute the best of ourselves, so that everyone, tutti, said Paul Francis, may have a good life. But who call us? A person or a community of people acting as a subject. A person is always at the beginning of all our project, and we constitute ourselves as such in a personal dialogue with others. What are we called to? We were and are called to love and serve in everything, as San Ignacio de Loyola said. Service is not something that we do in our free time. Service is quintessential of what we will always do in our paid professional jobs, publicly authorized by the university in this academic act of recognition that is this graduation. The degree that you and I receive today is not an award, but a challenge. It is not the end of the journey, but the beginning of a community process. We took on this project of life in response to a community called for need and dreams. Everything is connected, say Francis in Laudato Si. We are here because we were called, invited to perfect our capaci capacities and skill previously received as gift. Listening to that call and developing those gifts make us community responsible subjects to contribute to the common goal what we learn. First question, where and when is our graduation actually taking place? It will happen every day from now on when we discern and act. Will we, will we use our social recognition for personal interest or we will put it at the service of the needs and dreams of our communities? Every time that we are in a position to discern and to decide, we will be given a final exam. And with that decision, we will be responsible, respectively confirming the degree that has been granted to us today. Fourth question, how did we get to this moment of graduation? Our graduation is not only the fruit of our efforts, but also the fruit of the collaborative work of an entire community. This community is families, neighbors, governments, professionals and university assistants, fellow students, contributions from other culture and past 
generation. It is thanks to that participation of all of them that we receive our recognition as graduates today. No one creates themselves, just not one is safe alone, according to Pope Francis. Therefore, none of them should be forgotten. Humanity for centuries has generated sapiential, scientific, economic, and political values, so that the university is the 20, in the 21st century is an autarkic and supportive institution. That is why universities means united forward, responsible for not moving backwards, not to the indietrismo, as Pope Francis called in Italian, because we would be betray the efforts of many and our own efforts as well. The university recognition that we receive today is not a mere diploma to be hung on a wall. On the contrary, it summons us to be part of a church and society and of an ongoing community, Iglesia en Salida, that is the public life. Five, finally, why do we graduate? With this graduation, we acquire social prestige, but also a moral death with our communities of origin. That death is paid with professional and socially responsible work in each of our decision-making position. We were called by love, and we must return love in all its forms. Let us not lose sight of the fact that this act of institutional <clears throat> recognition of our efforts that Loyola University Chicago grant us is, at the same time, a call and ascending. I bring good news. You are no longer the person that you were last night. This ceremony does not make us teachers or doctors only. It makes us missionaries, disciples. I assure that you, if today we publicly assume a personal commitment to a good life in all its form and all and at all strategy, then this degree that we receive today will change profoundly, not merely our own lives, but also the lives of many. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, and congratulations, Dr. Kuda. The candidates for the degree Doctor of Philosophy will now be presented. Emily Barman, Dean of the Graduate School and Vice Provost for Graduate Education, will make the recommendations to the President, who in turn will confer the degrees. I would like to invite President Reed and Dean Barman to the center podium. Will the candidates for the degree Doctor of Philosophy from the Graduate School please rise? <laughs> President Reed, I have the pleasure of presenting to you the candidates for the degree Doctor of Philosophy. The candidates have fulfilled all the requirements for their degree, and I recommend that the degrees be conferred upon them. Candidates, upon the recommendation of the Dean of the Graduate School and its faculty, and by the authority granted to Loyola University of Chicago by the State of Illinois, and delegated to me by the Board of Trustees of our university, I confer upon you the Doctor of Philosophy degrees for which you have been recommended. 
and as a sign of your new academic status, you will be hooded by your dissertation director. Congratulations. The Doctor of Philosophy graduates will now come forward to be recognized by name as directed by the marshals. As President Reed mentioned, it is a very unique relationship between dissertation directors, advisors, and their students. So that is the reason why those directors will hood our graduates on stage. Dr. Mitch Mitchell Denning, Associate Dean for Graduate Education and Professor of Cancer Biology will read the names of the graduates. Candidates who have not been taken out of your rows may be seated again. Guests, please remain in your seats and hold your applause, and I know that's hard, until all degree groups have been recognized so that each graduate may be heard by their family and loved ones. Guests are not permitted on the arena floor or near the stage. Professional photographers are taking photos of the graduates and these photos will be available to you in the coming days. Thank you for your cooperation. I am pleased to read the names of the students receiving the degree Doctor of Philosophy. Dr. Papa Undumas Adams. Dr. Adams studied the factors that influence psychotherapists' ability to initiate conversations about religion and spirituality with their clients. Dr. Tagreed Abdullah al Shabeh. Dr. al Shabeh studied the impact of democratically elected Islamic governments on the implementation of foreign policy. Dr. Matthew Amex. Dr. Amex studied the lending and racial redlining of the HOLC in Chicago. Dr. Imuli Melissa Davies Arledge. Dr. Arledge studied how American Catholics curated a shared identity through national shrines and museums. Dr. Lul Muhammad Baba, with distinction. Dr. Bobby, Baba studied experiences of Somali Jair Bantu students in the higher education systems of the United States. Dr. Carlos Octavio Ballenas. Dr. Ballenas studied the impact of Latino studies education on Latino identity formation. Dr. Sydney Marie Simone Curtis. Dr. Curtis studied black feminist and spiritual approaches to teaching and learning during the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Jonathan J. Oakstead. Dr. Oakstead studied LGBTQ student involvement and how it fosters alumni engagement.
Dr. Jonathan Walden Bryant, with distinction. Dr. Bryant studied the role of compassion in the characterization of Jesus in Mark. Dr. Zacharia Preston Uberhart. Dr. Uberhart studied performance criticism and its implications for biblical interpretation. With distinction. Dr. Amira Muhardin Bukhari, with distinction. Dr. Bukhari studied B cell development in the gut associated lymphoid tissue. Dr. Evita Bustos. Dr. Bustos studied positive parenting and child symptoms among low income Mexican immigrant families. Dr. Abram B. Capone, with distinction. Dr. Capone studied musical definitions and the relational nature of music performance. Dr. Bridget Marie Culicchio. Dr. Culicchio studied the meaning of well-being according to youth in foster care. Dr. Emily Ann Datsku, with distinction. Dr. Datsku studied queer theories association with and in the 19th century novel. Dr. Susan Eller. Dr. Eller studied psychological safety in pre-licensure nursing situation or simulation curricula. Dr. Sebastian Flieger, with distinction. Dr. Flieger studied the synthesis of enzyme inhibitors as new antibiotics and anti-cancer agents. Dr. Darush Christopher Forizesh. Dr. Forizesh studied the catalytic mechanism of an enzyme that complicates cancer treatment. Dr. Patia Freely. Dr. Freely studied perceptions of funding decision making processes of grant makers and grant seekers who focus on youth violence in Chicago. And this was with distinction. Dr. Sarah Claire Galvin. Dr. Galvin studied the impact of emotions and cultural humi humility on broaching race in therapy. Dr. Maria Alejandra Goana. Dr. Goana studied the varying levels of exposure to trauma, professional development, and the reported impact of it within school settings in Illinois. Dr. David George Glanville, with distinction. Dr. Glanville studied how bacteria regulate their central metabolism during infection. Dr. Molly Greening. Dr. Greening studied Catholic colonial histories and the ethics of belonging. Dr. Dennis Marie Madison. Dr. Madison studied obedience 
Christian moral agency, and the promise of creative disobedience. Dr. Sarah Wilhelm Garbers. Dr. War Dr. Wilhelm Garbers studied a feminist political theological ethics of formation in view of Christian nationalism. <laughs> Dr. Susan Marie Harmon. Dr. Harmon studied the ways tabletop role-playing games educate for democratic and civic values. Dr. Annie Ruth Schultz. Dr. Schultz studied the role of aesthetics in an education for environment consciousness. Dr. Sean Thomas Jacobson. Dr. Jacobson studied historical memory of American Indian removal at former missions and boarding school sites. Dr. Marie, Dr. Mary Patricia Johnston. Dr. Johnston studied cancer survival empowerment through patient reported outcomes. Dr. Anna Kai with distinction. Dr. Kai studied college enrollment prediction modeling using machine learning. <laughs> Dr. Catherine Savilli Leah Broughton. Dr. Leah Broughton studied history exhibits at Chicago's Depression Era World's Fair. Dr. Nathan M. Lutz. Dr. Lutz studied the importance of caregivers and family for youth in the child welfare system. Dr. Elizabeth M. Sargent. Dr. Sargent studied violence exposure and mental health in justice involved adolescents. Dr. Gregory Lewis C.J. Malnasi. Dr. Malnasi studied the role of ABLE2 in alcohol-associated liver disease. Dr. Sky Martin with, with distinction. Dr. Martin studied health professionals and medical education role in maternal health disparities. Dr. Kathleen Rose McNutt, Dr. with distinction. Dr. McNutt studied the theology of salvation as divinization from an eco-feminist perspective. Dr. Janice Nolan, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Nolan studied the navigational tactics of millennial black women teachers. <laughs> Dr. Carrie Elizabeth Osborne with distinction. Dr. Osborne studied pre-licensure nursing student engagement in clinical and simulation experiences. Dr. Margaret Ann Powell. Dr. Powell studies social work practice approaches in public libraries across the United States.
Dr. Jenny Fan. Dr. Fan studied the effects of chronic stress on parenting and child coping. Dr. Akila Salum Salam Raoul. <laughs> Dr. Raoul studied social hierarchies in the context of health benefits, health beliefs, and behaviors. Dr. Laura Marie Robbins Frank. Dr. Robbins Frank studied nursing student knowledge acquisition of growth and development concepts using a virtual learning environment. Dr. Madison Ruth Stock. Dr. Stock studied the regulation of quorum sensing in Staphylococcus aureus. Dr. Alicia Celine Wartman. Dr. Wartman studied psychosocial functioning in youth with spina bifida and their families. Dr. Adrian Winning. Dr. Winning studied parenting and adjustments in families of children with spina bifida. Please join me in congratulating all the graduates. The candidates for the Doctor of Bioethics degree will now be presented. Dean Barman will make the recommendations to the President who in turn will confer the degrees. Will the candidates for the Doctor of Bioethics degree from the Graduate School please rise. President Reed. I have the pleasure of presenting to you the candidates for the degree Doctor of Bioethics. The candidates have fulfilled all the requirements for their degrees, and I recommend that the degrees be conferred upon them. Candidates, upon the recommendation of the Dean of the Graduate School and its faculty, and by the authority granted to Loyola University Chicago by the State of Illinois, and delegated to me by the Board of Trustees of our university, I confer upon you the Doctor of Bioethics degrees for which you have been recommended. As a sign of your new academic status, you too will be hooded by your advisor. Congratulations. The Doctor of Bioethics graduates will now come forward to be recognized by name as directed by the Marshals. Graduates will be hooded by Dr. K. N. Parsi, Director of the Graduate Program in Bioethics. Ms. Heather Sevener, Assistant Dean of the Graduate School, will read the names of the graduates. Receiving the degree Doctor of Bioethics, Dr. Andrea Areas. Dr. Donald Eugene Carter. Dr. Andrew Joseph Jager. Dr. Carrie O'Malley Kennedy. Dr. Bridget Ann McKinney. Dr. Patrick Oconquo. Dr. Eureko Rayan.
Dr. Stefan Olufeme Shodeke. Dr. Gianna Rose Strand. Dr. Stephanie Rochelle Zilstra. Congratulations, graduates. The candidates for the Doctor of Healthcare Mission Leadership degree will now be presented. Dean Barman will make the recommendations to the president, who in turn will confirm the degrees. Thank you. Will the candidates for the Doctor of Healthcare Mission Leadership degree from the Graduate School please rise? President Reed, I have the pleasure of presenting to you the candidates for the degree. Doctor of Healthcare Mission Leadership. The candidates have fulfilled all the requirements for their degrees, and I recommend that the degrees be conferred upon them. Candidates, upon the recommendation of the Dean of the Graduate School and its faculty, and by the authority granted to Loyola University Chicago by the State of Illinois, and delegated to me by the Board of Trustees of our university, I confer upon you the Doctor of Healthcare Mission Leadership degrees for which you have been recommended. And as a sign of your new academic status, you will be hooded by your advisor. Congratulations. The Doctor of Healthcare Mission Leadership graduates will now come forward to be recognized by name as directed by the marshals. Graduates will be hooded by Dr. Michael McCarthy, Director of the Doctoral Program in Healthcare Mission Leadership. Ms. Heather, he Heather Sevener, Assistant Dean of the Graduate School, will read the names of the graduates. Receiving the degree Doctor of Healthcare Mission Leadership. Dr. Teresa Amihir Burvel. Dr. William Joseph Hubbard. Dr. Michael James Miller, Jr. Dr. Amy Elizabeth Mullen. Dr. Andrew J. Santos. Congratulations, graduates. The candidates for master's degree degrees will now be presented. Dean Barman will make the recommendations to the president, who in turn will confer the degrees. Thank you. Will the candidates for master's degrees from the graduate school please rise? President Reed, I have the pleasure of presenting to you the candidates for the degree Master of Arts and Master of Science. The candidates have fulfilled all of the requirements for their degrees, and I recommend that the degree be conferred upon them. Candidates, upon the recommendation of the Dean of the Graduate School and its faculty, and by the authority granted to Loyola University Chicago, by the State of Illinois and delegated to me by the Board of Trustees of our university. I hereby confer upon you the master's degrees for which you have been recommended. And as a sign of your new academic status, please don your hoods. That means put them on. 
Congratulations. The candidates for master's degrees will now come forward to be recognized by name. Ms. Heather Sevener and Dr. Mitchell Denning will read the names of the graduates. Candidates who have not been taken out of the row by the marshals may be seated again. Receiving the degree Master of Arts. Amina Amatovic. Almera Ahmad Al Khatib. Jonathan Pierce Amesquita. Ryan D. Al. Mark Anthony Bachir. Brandon Ballard. Catherine Jane Barron. Casey Joe Barrett. Jennifer K. Barry. Alexa Faye Berkowitz. Daniel J. Blau. Alma Bobadilla. Kurt Henry Broche. Fiza Syed Bukhari. Sarah Butkovic. Ryan Gregory Campbell. Renzul Katignas. Vladimira Checheva. Philip Cooley. Jennifer Lynn Simarusti. Travis James Crow. Hannah Ray Crowley. Sarah Melina Cummins. Maria Pearl Rathbun Demelio. Muhiba Olabomi. Edun Joby. Elizabeth Ferry. Alexander Friedland. Jeffrey Paul Fung. Daniel James Funk. Alan Matthew Garcia. Ashley Alexis Garcia. Madison Patricia Givens. Gabriello Granadas. Timothy M. Graven. Mayoneke Ekebobasi Guan. 
Jalen Hamilton. Caroline Virginia Handley. Mariana Hernandez Grassi. Valentina Horlander. Holly Elizabeth Jacobs. Jacob John Jasnak. Abdul Malik Olawatobi Karim. Nicholas Demetrios Katsambas. Edith Victoria Kowalik. Lindsay Ann Craybill. Sierra Dawn Land. Megan Larson. Caroline Grace Lauber. Brad S. Lee. Macy Nicole Levine. Cullen Maxwell Lilly. Eugene Daniel Lojkovic. Erica Gabrielle Lunt. Sohail S. Husseini. Chelsea Maldonado. Chris Maddox. Christopher David McDonald. Catherine McGranahan. Aiden P. McGalley. Kevin Mendoza. Ashley Anna Menzik. Andrew Stephen Maluski. Bartosz Morawski. Zakira Mohammed Mujib. Michaela Ann Muzinik. Shreya Sai Narla. Zoe Ariel Nasif. Rohith Nilivalasa. Mary Grace Nowlin. Thomas Andrew Olson. Destiny E. Chinasa Onyes. Sophia Marie Panos. Milo Parker Emerson. Christina Maria Penati. Michael Stephen Petro. Alexander Francis Fon. Taryn Phillip. Matthew Lauren Powell. Cameron Posey. Justin Prom. Camille Piter Pruce. Justin Michael Puskarski. Nathan Matthew Puthenvitio. Ephraim Emmanuel Ray. Hannah E. Ragnone. 
Yotsani, Marlene Resendez Rivera. Samantha Susan Ropsky. Gwyneth Elizabeth Robbins. Flora Oksana Rodriguez Lopez. Darian Romero. Marifa Saber. Cyrus Sadegi. Siddharth Saharan. Andrew Carl Sane. Jackson Smith. Umbar Satar. Alexandra Savick. Cameron Elizabeth Sachs. Alexandros Scarlatos La Couture. Natasha Slivin. Kimberly I. Sluzarzik. Sofia Sobeski. Christopher Bowman Song. Vontisha Stanfield. Lauren Steinkinig. Jacob Michael Stuckert. Morgan Ashley Suchamel. Mohammed Zargem Sukera. Carissa Danielle Taliaferro. Gabrielle Simone Thomas. Willow Tomkovich. Mitchell Allen Valady. Max Francis Vitro. Cecil Litterine Volker. Erica Jean Worth. Allison Nicole Witterin. Chloe M. Wittersheim. Madison Lindsay Wolf. Austin Robert Wonder. Oksana Justine Zorowski. Congratulations, graduates. Receiving the degree Master of Science. Rashid Halagda. Juan Carlos Arroyo Juarez. Geraldo Avila. Nitro Nicholas Patrick Barone. Megan Grace Bilkey. Evelyn Rebecca Brazovan. 
Cody D. Bush. Brianna Cho. Virgia, Virgil Alden Cole. What's the problem? Virgin Alden Cole. Did, did, you, did you have a? Virgil Alden Cole. Evan James Cole. Tanki Kubreth Bird. Tania, sorry, Tania. Timothy Michael DeRolf Strassman. Giovanni Duca. Gail Hillary Ventuca Enriquez. Joshua W. Hitty. Laura Benyami Horst. Demetra Danielle Jetters. Michael Jimenez. Carolyn Rose Judy. Sairu Karano. <laughs> Elena Kudrashova. <laughs> Joseph Adrian Dezon Laparasan. Morgan Danielle Lusler. Faith Julia Lewis. Yusun Lin. Alec Loftus. Michael M. Long. Adolfo Medina. Charles Medler with distinction. Anas Youssef Mohammed. Monish Kumar Mohan Ra. Julian Saul Del Rosario Maronis. Anshul Narong. Anissa Nasi. Olivia Ozag. Asia Marie. Pagotanla, pa Pagotalan. Chrisula Rina Patelis. Monica Purit.
Nikola Radunovic. Victor Antiradnova Rakontonaro. Achana Rathmanathan. Nick Penyong Riddling. Michael Thomas Sibin. Mark Jerome Santos. Delaney Sauer with distinction. Evan Scruggs. Daniel Silva Arujo. Anthony Lancelot Skinner. Paula Katrinsa Scroen. <laughs> Catherine Bayer Starr. Goodwin Nathaniel T Timoteo. <laughs> Miriam Adriana Velasquez. <laughs> Olga Velechko. Jacob Riley Valeski. Jessica Witt. Henry Wittick. Xian Zhang. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations to the class of 2023 from the Graduate School. One more round. We will now turn our attention to the Institute of Pastoral Studies and their graduates. The candidates for master's degrees and certificates from the Institute of Pastoral Studies will now be presented. Peter Jones, Interim Dean of the Institute of Pastoral Studies, will make the recommendations to the President, who in turn will confer the degrees and certificates. I invite Dr. Reed and Dean Jones to the center podium. Will the candidates from the Institute of Pastoral Studies please rise? President Reed, I have the pleasure of presenting to you the candidates for the degrees Master of Divinity, Master of Arts, and the certificates from the Institute of Pastoral Studies. The candidates have fulfilled all the requirements for their degrees and certificates, and I recommend that these be conferred upon them. Candidates, upon the recommendation of the Dean of the Institute of Pastoral Studies and its faculty, and by the authority granted to Loyola University Chicago by the State of Illinois and delegated to me by the Board of Trustees of our university. I confer upon you the master's degrees and certificates for which you have been recommended. As a sign of your new academic status, please don your hoods and congratulations. The candidates for master's degrees and certificates will now come forward to be recognized by name as directed by the marshals. Dr. Deborah Watson, clinical instructor in the Institute of Pastoral Studies, will read the names of the graduates. I am pleased to be reading the names of our students 
receiving master's degrees and certificates. Receiving a Master's of Divinity, Caitlin Marie Crevier. Tamara Franco. Ileana Lucas. Magajareta Pamuwa. Sarah Ann Parasich. Congratulations. Masters of Arts, Trevor Kelly, Nicole Vanderdoes, Augustine. Pushparaj, Turnin Montero, Ernesto Sandoval, Jalen Nicole Taylor, Petra Alexander. Thomas Kudera, Isaac Rodriguez Saceres, Sarai Cruz Guzman, Sarah Farber. Maria Hernandez Lopez, Carmen Jimenez, Melinda Jones, Delia Lozano Porras. Carmen Marin, Guillermina Marin, Juan Carlos Orochena, Anna Edmonds Phillips. Lucia Roman Valario, Gloria Elena Saldariaga, Aida Urbieta, Evangelina Vargas Garnica. Maria de la Luz Zagal, Rocia Zamora, Shanice Talia Williams, Beth Schumann. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2023 of the Institute of Pastoral Studies. Congratulations, graduates. We will now watch a video message from the Loyola University Chicago Alumni Association. Hi, 
My name is Lucas Williamson from the class of 2022, and I'm currently a professional basketball player. Congratulations on one of the greatest accomplishments in your life, your graduation. You are now officially a Loyola alumnus, and you join fellow alumni living throughout the world. So, how do we stay connected to our classmates, our peers, and our university? One of the best ways is to volunteer. After graduation, you are automatically a part of the Loyola University Chicago Alumni Association. So get involved with your regional Rambler community. Thanks, Lucas, and congratulations to all of our graduates. My name is Nancy Andrade, and I'm currently commissioner for the Chicago Commission on Human Relations. Loyola has been your academic home for several years, and as you graduate, please know that this is not a goodbye. It is just your next step in our relationship. We can stay connected through Loyola's mentorship program, Loyola Linked. With Loyola Linked, you can mentor current students and receive mentorship from other Loyola alumni. It is a great way to share your expertise and become a mentor or even find your next job. Thank you, Nancy, and congrats, everyone. My name is Hans Nelson. I am the president and co-founder of Inspire 11 here in Chicago. A great way to stay in touch is to keep in contact with professors and staff or attend one of the many alumni events throughout the year. Even if you do not live in Chicago, after you graduate, there are regional Rambler communities that you can be a part of. Thank you, Hans, and congrats, everyone. My name is Candace Moore, and I'm the City of Chicago's first Chief Equity Officer at Chicago's Office of Equity and Racial Justice. As you have heard, there are so many great ways to stay connected to our classmates, our peers, and our university. And it is so important to remain part of our community, so let's stay in touch. Let's volunteer, let's give back, let's mentor, and let's keep learning from each other. Thank you and congratulations again on your graduation from Loyola University, Chicago. It is now my privilege to invite President Mark Reed back to the podium to provide final remarks. Good afternoon, class of 2023. And family and friends gathered here today, you've been told to be quiet up to this point. I'm giving you full permission to make as much noise as you want. Congratulate our graduates. Now on behalf of the faculty, staff, and the entire Loyola University Chicago community, I offer you my heartfelt and deepest congratulations on this very special day. Now I ask the graduates if you would all please stand. Graduates, let's take a moment to acknowledge and to thank the people whose dreams of this day in many cases stretch all the way back to when you were born. Parents, family, friends who provided advice, support, and companionship along your journey. So I want you to turn now, you know where they are. Turn and face your loved ones in the audience and give them a wave and a grateful round of applause. Now graduates, Graduates, years from now, I can assure you that few of you will remember who the president of Loyola University Chicago was at your graduation. And I'm okay with that. Because you will vividly remember the remarkable faculty and staff that you encountered here. You will benefit from their insight and care for the rest of your lives. And so now, I ask that you look at the representative group of faculty we have here to the right and to the left, or my right and left, and give them a round of applause of thanks. To our faculty, thank you. Now, graduates, we have already heard wonderful reflections and remarks from our student and commencement speakers, so you can take comfort that I know when to be brief. 
So I say simply to you that you have been privileged to be part of the Jesuit educational experience that is nearly 500 years old and more than 150 years old at Loyola specifically. We seek to educate you to be the next generation of leaders who will be capable of shaping the future with vision, justice, and charity, with a sense of calling, with concern for all of the human family. And you have received much during your time at Loyola, but remember that your education ultimately isn't just for you. It's for you to serve and to make a difference in the lives of others. So go forth and embrace your futures boldly and confidently, always remembering that you are loved, we love you, your parents, family, and friends love you, and God loves you. Thank you. <laughs> Graduates, it's your turn to be seated. Now, everybody else here, though, if you are able, please stand and join me in offering a blessing. Nope, nope, graduates stay. Oh, that's right, we have faculty in the front here. It's a little dark, it's hard to see. All right, but everybody else, thank you. And if you would, extend a hand or both hands over our graduates for a final blessing. And this blessing is located on the last page of the program and will be displayed on the screens behind me. So graduates, and say it with me, may God bless you and sustain you on this, your graduation day. May the creator of this vast universe keep you safe as you go forth from this place that has nourished your mind and your soul. May the Almighty look down upon you and give you success in all your endeavors, courage in all your struggles and challenges, understanding in all that is new to you, wisdom to choose what is right and to do what is good, perseverance in all you undertake, serenity and peace in the knowledge that you are not alone and that you are loved. May the Lord of all look kindly upon you this day and forever. Amen. Congratulations, Ramblers. Now, will our graduates please rise? It is my privilege to invite Nicolu Hosner, candidate for the degree Bachelor of Arts, Music, Vocal Performance, Interdisciplinary Honors, Magna Cum Laude, College of Arts and Sciences, to lead the community in the Loyola University alma mater. Nicola will be accompanied by our wind ensemble. <laughs> Thank you to all our talented musicians. Let's give them a round of applause.
We ask that the audience please be seated until after the recessional from the stage and the graduates have left the arena. Following the recessional, please join the graduates for a reception on the West Quad. Thank you.